Hey guys, I'm Joe. Welcome to my YouTube channel. As promised, I got my pet stroller. And uh, it's called Ibi Yaya. And it's for large adult dogs. Now, F1 Savannah Cats, which I have two, Versace and Armani, get extremely big uh, when they reach adulthood at four years old. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the box. I haven't even opened it up, guys, at all. And so I'm going to do a couple of pauses so you don't have to see me take out wrapping paper and all that other stuff. But I'm going to open the box, take a few things out, let's put it together. So here is what it looks like when you open up the top. I'm going to start unboxing it. And actually, uh, there goes some styrofoam. Let's keep that over there. And I'm going to pull this out and set it on the floor. So as you can see, it's a very big stroller. And I've looked at probably, with no, exager no exaggeration, at least 20 pet strollers. This is by far the best. This is called the uh, Hercules model. It holds up to 130 pounds. And uh, that should be sufficient for one F1 Savannah Cat. Uh, with no problem as well as even two. So let's uh, get rid of the plastic and see what it looks like inside. Actually, what I want to show you before we actually open up the plastic. Here's the manufacturer, Ibi Yaya. And then it says the Hercules Heavy Duty Pet Stroller. That's the item number. Made in China. Let's kind of hope that was in the warehouse for a few months before it got here. <laughs> Let's open up the stroller now, see what we got inside. Okay, so it's out of the box. You can see two wheels right here. And I believe, obviously, this must be one for the front. These two go in the back. And I'm going to spin it around so you can take a look. What it looks like. That's the bottom of the stroller. And this particular stroller is around $450, and then there's uh, tax and uh, some shipping. So I'm gonna open up the wheels, you'll see those. Let's do that right now. So they come with uh, really nice tires, spokes, and even reflectors. Let's take a look at what the thread looks like. You can see this is a high quality item. I mean, for a pet stroller. Um, I'm gonna have to pump up the tires a little bit once I get it together. Maybe go to a gas station, pump that up. And uh, let's set this one over here for now. Hi Versace, great timing. Look at your stroller. We, re we rehearsed this many, many times for so him to come in right at this point. <laughs> Where's Armani? Hey, Armani! Look, he's looking up. He knows I'm calling up. Where's Armani? All right, take a look. This is my F1 Savannah Cat Versace, 34 months. Armani! All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, start getting this thing together and we'll come right back. And Versace, pay attention where if I can't put it together, you could help me. All right, guys, so as I was working on this, look what I found. Hi, Armani. This is my F1 Savannah Cat Armani, 14 months. She's my female. Again, Versace, he's my male. Look what daddy's got. Mommy and daddy bought you the Hercules. Be a -ya, stroller. <laughs> all right, look at him. Hey, what are you sniffing around? All right, all eyes on over here, okay? All right, they're taking uh, a liking to it. Let's get back to the stroller. I'm gonna start taking this stuff out. Let's take a look at what that is. Okay, so there's Armani. <laughs> look how beautiful she is. 
Hey, Armani. You're going to be cruising in a new Strolla. This thing is like a car for cats. One of my friends, Jason, calls it because he knows I have... Uh, I drove a uh, C7 Corvette. Hey, don't eat the plastic. He calls this the uh, F1 Savannah Cat C8 Corvette for cats. Okay, so let's take a look over here. We've got a additional wheel. This must be for the one in the front. Those two in the back. And uh, try saying that name. Three times fast, it be yeah, yeah. Let's open this up, see what that looks like. Now, I'm doing this, guys, with one hand. One to hold the camera, one to open it up. So let's just pause that and open that up and see what that is. All right, so this piece of plastic came out of that package. Looks like it's probably some uh, rainproof windows uh, for the actual stroller. Let's set that aside. Put that over here next to those two wheels. We'll take this other wheel and we'll stick it by the door. Looks like we got a set of instructions. Let's grab that. You can see Versace a little better now with the light on. And uh, my house has a lot of marine stuff over here. You can see some uh, saltwater fish, another painting up here. Really nice dolphins over here with turtles, and the whole house is uh, safari, African, marine, wildlife. We love animals, so the whole house is done up that way in that particular theme. Um, we got a little plastic tubing here. Make sure you don't eat it. That's how you get in trouble. You throw this in my pocket. All right, so here's the directions. Let's take a look at this real quick, and uh, I'll scan it. So you guys could take a look if you're interested in getting a stroller like this. You could pause it, read whatever you'd like. Okay, look, can you please stop biting the wheels, Versace? Versace, stop. All right, won't go through the warning stuff right now, but we will open up the stroller and see what it looks like. Now guys, uh, before I actually ordered this uh, pet stroller, I actually watched a video on uh, YouTube just to see how you actually put it together and I uh, wanted to see a live version of it with it in use. So I did that first. So I do remember, but over here there's a little clip. Let's, uh, let's see. Looks like I'm gonna have to push this forward. Yep, there it is. And release that. Hopefully it's just on one side. I'm gonna pause it. So, so I was able to uh, unlatch that on the side over here and expand the stroller. I'll show you what I mean by expand. It actually collapses, which is kind of cool. So if you wanna put it in your car, no problem. Just push down on here. And look guys, the whole thing collapses into itself. Let's open it one more time. Okay. You can see how that goes. There's some screening over here on the side. Some screening in the back. Which you can see right through into my den. Let's take another look from the front so you can see how big it is. Oh yeah, no problem. You could fit, well they show actually a, a golden retriever actually in the commercial. So it's a pretty big dog that could fit in there. So let's start putting it together. So the first thing I did was put this wheel on and this little pin in the wheel and it goes right into this cylinder right here. You can see how that pivots real well. So I have one of the rear tires right here and you can see 
right over here there's a little hole. I'm gonna take this pin, put it into here, and it should click. Okay, so I turn the stroller on its side. You can see the front right there with the wheel. I'm gonna take the pin, put it in there. Let's uh, push down. Let's hear the click. There it is. Nice and tight. Okay, and we're gonna flip it on the other side and do the same. So let's get the other tire. Again, you can see the pin at the end. Which is right here. I'm gonna fit it right into here. Straighten it out. Push down, wait for the click. There we go. Nice and tight. Okay. You see the bottom of the stroller. And let's turn it right side up. See what this looks like. Okay, so here's the stroller. Standing up with the, both wheels on each side. The one wheel in the front. And then inside the stroller, it appears to have some latches that look like they might be for a harness or a collar. So yeah, God forbid uh, something should happen, they don't run away. If this should open, you can see what it looks like inside. You got a screen to your left, one giant one in the front, another one on the side with a sunroof. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, little tag right there if you guys want to check it out. It says uh, ibiyaya.com. Hold on, let me let that focus right. All right. Let's see what else we have to put this thing together. Okay, guys, I just noticed a couple of things while I was in the middle of uh, a pause. It's a little lever over here. You gotta actually pull that back to release it. You push this down and it locks the stroller in place. You can see how that bar is not bent like the other side. Plus, there are some uh, brakes over here. You push that down and uh, it goes into a little gear back here and it locks the wheel from rolling. See, look, pretty cool. And it actually uh, maneuvers really good. I think the whole thing weighs 30 pounds. Don't quote me on that. That's sort of what I remember. So you got a 30 pound stroller with real tire spokes and some reflectors that can hold on to, or I should say, sh should support an animal up to 130 pounds. So that's pretty impressive. Little window in the back. Let's zip this up. Let's zip it up. And the zippers seem like high quality zippers. No problem. You know, a lot of times when you try zipping things, the zipper will actually split in half and then you gotta re-zip it with cheap plastic zippers that usually happens. Got a little pouch over here. Put some Velcro. Guess you could put some stuff in there if you'd like. I haven't read the directions, but I'm figuring that this uh, plastic canvas goes possibly inside here. If it should happen to rain, um, you could actually unzip the top, which is kind of nice. So I guess you could put your animal through the top, or through the front. Well, of course, through the back. Let's uh, close this up. It's made real well. I mean, this feels pretty, even the material seems really strong. No wonder why they call it Hercules. 
And this was the best stroller, literally, that I found. I don't like spending my money twice. I figured, why get an inferior one, be unhappy, and then have to actually buy this later anyway. So I figured, let me just buy it now. Little pouch over here, it looks like for a cell phone. That's actually pretty cool. Maybe even a, another cell phone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock this one in position, so let me do that now. So there it is, guys. There's the F1 Savannah Cat Ibi Pet Stroller. The Hercules model, all set up. And uh, subscribe to the channel because there is gonna be another video with my cats inside it going out for a walk. Now they walk on leashes um, with their harness outside, no problem. But I thought this might be a good idea for areas for them to get into where possibly a harness and stroller with an animal might not either be permitted or unsafe. Or if the pavement is too hot, you don't want them to burn their feet. So you guys out there that have pets, don't walk your pets on hot black top. Not a smart idea. Make sure you take your hand, place it on the floor for five seconds. If it burns your hand, it's too hot for your pet. If it doesn't, it should be fine. Okay, guys, so that'll be it. That'll conclude this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. Watch our other videos. Go to our playlist. There are a lot of different videos in our playlist that are tailored to your interest, uh, like uh, pet tricks, as well as uh, educational videos, and uh, some of the things that they do that are absolutely hysterical. Um, Versace always gets in trouble. Armani is always the instigator. And uh, please subscribe, like, and share, and watch for our next video. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.